America will survive Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton, but I don't know if we're going to survive four more years of Hurricane Kamala. Welcome to my channel. This is the Doug Tenapel channel. I'm so glad you guys are on board, hanging out, leaving your comment below because we're all in exile. This is Kamala being told a lie, by the way, by the media. I'll explain, but listen closely. Okay, I just want to start by saying this is entirely made up by the media that Ron DeSantis is claiming she, you know, he was trying to contact her or that she didn't call and that it was being politicized. It was entirely made up by MSNBC to my knowledge. And so Ron DeSantis knows nothing about this. And now she's being stoked to respond. And so she's responding to something that MSNBC made up about him that he was rejecting her call. You know, moments of crisis, if, if nothing else, should really be the moment that anyone who calls themselves a leader says they're going to put politics aside. Okay, and so then she's responding. She took the bait, and she's laying into Ron DeSantis, starting to impugn his leadership. But remember, this was completely made up. This is a non-problem made up by the press. It's the press that did this who are politicizing this storm. Just so you know, because Kamala Harris is going to go, anyone who would politicize this tragic event are, you know, they have no conscience and they're selfish. She's really talking about the media. Just think about that. She's not talking about Ron DeSantis. I put the people first. People are in desperate need of support right now. And playing political games at this moment in these crisis situations, these are the height of emergency situations. It's just so who played political games? The media did. So when she says anyone who would poli play political games during this crisis are selfish, she just now laid out the media. And I agree with her. She just doesn't, she thinks she's talking about Ron DeSantis. It just doesn't apply to him. And it is about political gamesmanship instead of doing the job that you took an oath to do, which is to put the people first. Oh yeah, you put the people first so much. Um, if only the media would put the people first. They have no interest. They are completely derelict. I'm going to do a couple more pieces on the media today on my other episodes. <laughs> That's Biden staring a whole lot while the media is doing this wall, overwhelming him. They're trying to get him to throw Ron DeSantis under the bus. Now, you know, I have I don't have a lot of positive things to say about Biden. Was he listening? Was he paying attention? Will he act with politics or will he tell the truth? Hats off to Biden on this one. Listen to this. The governor of Florida has been cooperative. He said he's gotten all that he needs. I talked to him again yesterday. And I and I said, whatever. You, I said, no, you're doing a great job. It's being all being done well. We thank you for it. So Joe Biden is above politics on this one. He's showing a care for the suffering people on the ground and championing a political rival, his enemy, Ron DeSantis, and saying he did a great job. So this is about the two different administrations: Kamala, who's trying to take over the presidency; Joe Biden, who's the active president but barely present. And even he knew to tell the truth about Ron DeSantis. And I literally gave my personal phone number to call. Um, so I don't know. There was a rough start in some places, but every governor, every governor from Florida to North Carolina has been fully cooperative and supportive and acknowledge what this team is doing. And they're doing an incredible job. So hats off to Biden. Like, I never thought I'd say that. This is probably only the second time I've agreed with him in four years, but I have to call it out. There's a difference between he and Kamala. Kamala is a disgusting, imbecilic lizard who fell for a media trap. Biden was given the same trap by the media, the same opportunity to throw Ron DeSantis under the bus, and he didn't. And then they go back to telling their 8,000 questions. We got a lot more to do. So that's a weird moment. The media are the liars on this one, politicizing a storm because they despise you. They despise America. And now they despise Biden going, don't you realize this is an election season, buddy? 
Um, there's huge turmoil within the Biden administration between Biden and Kamala Harris. Their uh, assistance came to blows, supposedly. That's according to Jack Posobiec. There was a physical alter altercation between the Biden uh, assistants and, or, or press people, all of their workers, and the Kamala administration uh, upset over last week when he had his press briefing at the same time as she was speaking in some state on the campaign trail. Stay tuned. Stay, guys, it's heating up as the vote Voting day comes. Register to vote, please. Early voting, yes. Get on it, my people. Too much is at stake for you to sit around and wait. I'm Doug in exile.